So I have two drills here. One is an old Ryobi. And the other one is a brand new Milwaukee brushless. And one thing that I've discovered recently is that my older Ryobi, I actually prefer using, particularly for driving fasteners out. And you'll see here why. So I have a board here, a bunch of fasteners in it. If I, put, if I line up on one of these and I really slowly back it off, No matter what speed I'm trying to back it off at, it works. So it never seems to stall. Like here, for example, if you're working on an overhead light fixture and you're just trying to uh, coax the screw out slowly and you don't want to rip it out really fast and have the whole unit fall on you, but you want to just, just slowly back it out, the Ryobi is great for that. Like you see again here, you'll hear that the hammer function engages um, right off the bat. That's great. Now, if I switch the bit over to the Milwaukee, I'm going to click another bit here. Say here, if you try to get it to come out really slowly, it stalls. You'll hear it and try to engage right there and stall. Right there and stall. Right there and stall. But if you give it a lot of throttle, It'll come up really fast. And you almost always miss it when it comes out. So there's this, there's this funny thing where it's really good at driving fasteners in, but it's really annoying. There he goes again. At driving fasteners out. Now once you get it disengaged a little bit, it works. But that initial that initial torque, like low end torque, just seems to be missing. Or if I just have a dud. Or if that's just a feature of brushlesses, but I'm gonna take this drill back and try out a few other ones at the store and see if all the brushlesses are like that or if it's just mine. So I'm back from Home Depot and look what we got another drill. This time, not a brushless, but it's a brushed. Let's see how it fares. Interesting. Seems to work great. So after spending some time at Home Depot, talking with the store manager, um, the guy in the tool department decided to say, hey, let's go check it out. So we took a new, a brand spanking new brushless, identical to what I previously had. This brush motor, which is their last year's model, uh, as well as their top-of-the-line uh, M18 uh, fuel version. We went out and got a GRK fastener, about a six-inch one, and drove it into some 4x4s. <clears throat> Turns out, it wasn't just my drill. Uh, both the brushless uh, that the store manager had, as well as the um, fuel, both had the same low-speed stall-out uh, was occurring for them. But... The good old trusty brushed, he just worked for days. Anyways, I don't know if this is a feature, but for me, it matters to have to, it matters for me to have control of what I'm drilling or what I'm fastening. It's a little bit slower at the end of the day, but man, it does the job I need. Follow up after comparing the specs of the brushless versus these two brushed drill and driver combo. Turns out the brushless really doesn't, doesn't seem to be that much better. For example, this drill, just about the same RPM, same beats per minute, has a hammer function, seems to do everything I need it to. This impact, while it's a tad slower in RPM, low speed control, reasonably weighted in the hand, which I actually like, makes you feel like you're actually holding on to a tool not holding on to some toy. Looks the same, has the same light. End of the day, seems like it's the same tool. For about half the price though. Anyways, thanks for watching.